Michael Jackson's December visit to Australia is in doubt, with news that he's cancelled the South African leg of his world tour, claiming tiredness and poor health. Talks are now underway in the United States to decide the future of the Australian concerts. Since Michael Jackson was accused of sexually molesting children, his dangerous tour has been plagued by controversy. Go with it! Go with it! Damn! First shows in Bangkok, then ticket sales in Australia were postponed. Now the South African concerts have been canned. Concerts that were to kick off the third leg of the tour, which was to include Down Under. I've not been told the tour is off, but uh, I understand that the third leg is definitely in doubt. Meetings tomorrow in Los Angeles between Jackson's management and the world promoter will decide the tour's fate. The King of Pop was the third rock phenomenon scheduled to tour Australia this summer, a summer in which we were expected to shell out $60 million to see them sweat. The average ticket price, around $70. We're willing to spend anything on Madonna. Pretty expensive, but you know, it's just worth it. we got rich parents. <laughs> Bringing stars like Madonna and U2 to our shores can cost in excess of $20 million or $3 million a show. A big act is usually guaranteed about $1 million per performance, plus a percentage of the takings. Nearly another million pays for the venue and seating. The promoter gets what's left after all the expenses. We try to keep the ticket prices down, but when you get up into a Madonna or a Michael Jackson where you've got an entourage of 200 people, it's just, it's, you can't avoid it. While some parents are quick to criticise today's ticket prices, it all comes down to the basics of supply and demand. If concert goers thought the material girl, for instance, wasn't worth $70, they simply wouldn't pay. If you feel that you get your money's worth, then there's no problem. Money, like Sharon Gadella, National 9 News.